kettlebell grip, endurance, and strength. I think a lot of people have worked on just overall grip strength and in a single plane of movement, basically say like deadlift, pulling it off the floor, or kettlebell swing, two-hand kettlebell swing thing, something like that. But kettlebells were meant for, at least for a kettlebell sport, meant for endurance, grip endurance. And if you've watched anyone with, you know, 50 to 100 snatches in one set without hand switch um, on each arm, that's it's a pretty tough grip endurance challenge for a, any amount of appreciable weight. So with kettlebell sport, that's one of the main focuses. You're only going to go as far as your grip is going to allow you. So whether it's technique where you might not want to tear your hands or basically have endurance. Um, there's some point where you won't be able to get, you know, 35 or 70 pounds over your head one more time. Your grip's going to be the limiting factor. So here's a couple kettlebell exercises that we can do to enhance your grip because like I said, it's not just pulling a bar from the floor. That kettlebell is rotating internally, externally, there's all sorts of different things. So I'm going to show you a couple things that you can do to focus on your grip. And here they are. So many people have used a kettlebell and they've put it on the ground and they've focused on tilting it side to side, okay? So this is a way that you can work on that strength for external rotation here. Tilt that back and lower it down. Tilt that back, lower it down. Problem with this is where it becomes the kettlebell, the post, is kind of a very, very weird grip. And you really only have enough for the middle fingers here. With kettlebell, you really want to have some strength in this grip with a thumb and forefinger. And for the strength, you're going to rely on, rely on that wrapping that thumb because it's different than a hook grip um, that people do or employ in Olympic lifting. But instead of that exercise, we can also do other ones where we rock this weight back and lower it down. Do that. You can do the other way where you're pulling it back and different things where you're pulling it up. But what I like to do is take a club, small club, okay? Now this feels a little bit better. The reason why I like to do this is work on, when you're using a kettlebell, especially with snatch, some people internally rotate as the bell goes down between their legs. Okay, now if you're letting from the elbow going down, if you're internally rotating, that's basically supinating the supinator and the pronator muscles of the forearm. Okay, so if your radius and your ulna, they're getting controlled by those muscles. So here, we can use this club, this is just a 10 pound club, and we can help strengthen those muscles. Now, I don't wanna abuse those muscles, I want to use them to get them used to doing this motion. So for deceleration of the kettlebell, it's coming down if people turn their thumbs back, I don't do that totally, I keep a 45 degree angle, but you can tilt that back and use the leverage here. Now, this is a 10 pound club. What we can do is if you have an adjustable club, which these are great, these are 8X clubs, that you can add two and a half or five pounds to each one, we can work that. It's a little bit easier. Um, that's got a nice base to focus on that. We can drop it forward and bring it back. We have a lot more play in this with this club here. Okay, so another thing is doing it without the elbow on the ground. So now we start working the shoulder while it's used to doing that. So we do this external and then we do supination and pronation and supination, pronation. Now that way you're getting Concentric and eccentric. Um, now already this forearm, <laughs> I'm feeling it, okay? So there's another thing that we can work on doing grips, grip strength. Um, what I like to do is in different positions, you can work this above the head, you know, kind of overhead, um, flexion and extension of the wrist, 
we can do that. We can work on having larger grips, you know, stuff like this. You can use fat grips. We can work on focusing on the wrist and the strength of the fingers. So kettlebell sport, if you know, the grip itself, we're not trying to crush this like I see a lot of people that grab a kettlebell like this. What happens is that's gonna tear your hands if you're grabbing right here. If you're grabbing and letting that pull like that, what we wanna do is we wanna catch that kettlebell in the fingers, just like this. So you're making a hook. Then you can wrap the thumb if you want to. Some people go in different spots depending on whether where they turn the weight. Some people go from the back end to the front end. But still, we're trying to get to that position, okay? We're not trying to grab and grind, okay? So what happens if you grip it too hard while the kettlebell's like this and it pulls back, you're going to rip. There's no question about it. It's just a matter of time. Okay, so now, what I like to do is focus on, a lot of people have a hard time catching it like this, okay? Catching it with the fingers. See, I made a hook and I'm pulling, pulling that right there. Hook and then I grip. Hook and grip. Now. I can cross my thumb over my index finger or middle finger. It all depends on what your hand looks like. If you have long fingers, you might be more suited for different uh, size handles. This right here, this is a 33 on the yellow on the 16 kilogram. It's a 33 uh, millimeter handle. And this one right here on the blue in this 12 kilogram is a 35. So they're slightly different, but you can definitely tell when you use them for different stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna lay them, lay them down here. I don't know if you can tell, but there is, there is a difference. Now, you might not be able to see it, but I can definitely feel it, okay? So some people might want to work on snatching. If you have a thicker hand, you might want to snatch with a smaller handle, and if you want to jerk, you might want to use a larger handle, okay? It's just about pressure on the fore, on the wrist and thumb and forefinger area, okay? So that just depends on what your preference is. Now, back to other couple things of grip. Rock climbing boards, okay? So rock climbing boards are awesome. They have a lot of different hand holds that you can use. Um, say back here, I can focus on climbing. I can focus on getting grip of my fingers here. I can work on different ones um, up, up and above. I can focus on that grip, all sorts of stuff. So if you have a place in your gym, then a rock climbing board is awesome. Now, I'm gonna go over and grab something else. Um, they make smaller versions of these, which we have them hanging up over on our other area, but they're basically blocks with a couple of these finger grips. So a fingerboard is awesome. You can use, build your strength up using fat bells which focus on more the balance um, of this weight because it's in the center of your hand. If you can see, my hand goes right in here. All right, so now I'm going right in there. That weight is all around. You can do, this is an 88 pound bell. I'm not gonna be able to do many of these, but I know uh, Donnie Thompson does lip swings where you grip that right there, nice big old area to focus on your grip. Um, you can have these and you can focus on 360. You can put them in different areas and focus on that type of motion. You can go in this type of motion and you can focus on levering up like that. Especially great 
with this adjustable club. Let me get that fat bill out of here. So you can work on this with that adjustable club. Certain things like that, different ways. Um, also, another thing that we can work on is using, uh, you can use ropes, you can use all sorts of stuff. But um, yeah, focus on that endurance of getting your kettlebell right into that grip. So if you can see, I'm gonna grab, pulling back, and then wrapping. So pulling back, catching, wrapping. Notice I'm not grabbing and grinding, okay? So that is a thing that people make a big mistake with using the kettlebell is they come at it and they put their hand in and they grind, okay? So we're not trying to grind. We want to catch and grab. Right there, catch. Another thing is we can work on dropping the weight, catching, catching that weight like that. Notice, whoops, he already dropped it because it's so close. Right there, drop. Drop, drop. Now obviously we don't want a lot of um, jarring stuff like that, but you gotta be able to catch that kettlebell from the drop, and there's a lot of different techniques that you can smooth out how the kettlebell goes from this position to this position. So from above to below, above to below. And I'll put a link for this drill where I roll, grab, and roll, and grab, where I talk about that a little bit more. You gotta teach yourself how to, how to get in there, like that, all right? So anyway, train your grip in a lot of different ways and you're gonna have a lot more endurance. Another thing, yeah, fat grips. I think I showed you on that, but um, fat grips are actually the rubber uh, plates or pieces that go over a barbell that increase the diameter of the barbell immensely. So that's something that you can go, you can, you, if you're used to doing a barbell, you know, something like that, all of a sudden you jump up to something like that, obviously you're not gonna have as much strength, but you can increase that strength there, it's just gonna be a much lighter weight. But anyway, some couple thing, a couple things that you can work on increasing your kettlebell grip. Like I said, this one's awesome for people that pronate and supinate. So supinate is palmed up, supine like this. So you're dropping that kettlebell down and you pronate your hand through your leg like that. That's the same thing we're doing here, okay? When we turn over. So to bring that weight back from over here, that is catching it and having the eccentric portion of that to go back uh, up over your head. All right, so anyway. Joe, swing this, lots of different grips things, and work on it and see how you can improve. If you like this video, share it, subscribe. Swing this.